What's going on guys? Are you sick of going through each individual clip and adjusting the volume and it just takes so long? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the volume for a bunch of clips at the same time. All right, to get started guys, I just wanna start with I used to do this all the time. I used to adjust every clip one at a time, even if the volume was all the same and I wanted to adjust it all to let's say negative eight. I used to do this one at a time, all the time. And it took me so long. So to avoid this, there's two ways you can do this. So the first way you can do this is through the audio track mixer. And to do that, you go up to windows and you hit audio track mixer. And it pops up this panel right here. You have all these other panels, this is like your source, your, your scopes, your effects. And then you have your audio clip mixer and then your audio track mixer. So audio track mixer affects everything on the one track. So if you have everything on this A1 track, so if I play it, it's coming from this A1 track. If I pull this down to negative eight, it's going to adjust everything on this A1 track. See, negative eight, this is negative eight negative eight, and I haven't touched these before this. These are all set to negative eight because it adjusted everything on this single track. And say I don't want a certain clip to be adjusted, I can just take this track and I can just pull it down to A2. Now if I play it, see now it's playing at zero because I pulled it onto the track A2 and I haven't touched A2 yet. I only touched A1 and that was the only one I changed. Now into the second way you can adjust the volume for a bunch of clips, you can use nesting. And for this, say you want to adjust just a group of clips, but you don't want to adjust the whole track and you don't want to pull a bunch of different clips onto different layers and then just that track because you just have so many clips and there's just one section that's really peaking. What you could do is you could just highlight all those clips, right click and you hit nest. And you hit okay, or you can change the name if you want, but I just usually hit okay. And it creates it into one clip. And now you can go into your audio clip mixer which is right here and if like I said before if you don't see that go back into windows and there's the audio clip mixer and this just affects the single clip so now if this is way too loud I can adjust that down to negative six or whatever you adjust it to and now this clip is the only clip that's going to be affected not any of these other clips and now say that you brought the volume down for this clip but now there's one piece in there that one of those clips just doesn't fit in with the rest it's too low and now you're like, well, I just nested it, so it's not there anymore. Well, that's wrong. You can just double click on the nested sequence and here's all your clips again. And say, this is the clip that is too low. You can just bring this clip up a little bit, say to six or eight or however much you need to increase it. And now you close that nested sequence. And now that one clip inside this nested sequence has the plus six and it kind of cancels out this negative six. So it will be at a normal volume while the rest of this stays at that negative six. You can actually tell right here, this is the one clip that I adjusted. You can double click on the nested sequence again and it'll bring you straight to that clip. So nested sequences are kind of just a, another cool way you, how you can adjust a bunch of clips. But if you didn't want to just adjust the whole track, you could just adjust a bunch of clips. Nested sequence is the way to go. So those are a couple ways how you can adjust volume for a bunch of clips in Premiere Pro. It's pretty easy and I actually use it all the time for my videos. It's so much easier than going through each individual clip and adjusting it when you can just do it to all the clips at the same time. All right guys, I hope this video will help you out in some of your videos you're making. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe and ring that bell so you can keep up with all my other tutorials like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.